You can combine a break-even analysis with a Monte Carlo simulation to see how different combinations of price and expenses will impact your break-even point. Imagine you are working on a break-even analysis for your company's new product. You want to know the number of units you will need to sell to break even. You've added all of the fixed and variable costs that you know, but there are a few variables that have uncertainties associated with competition, contracts, and outstanding decisions. You'd like to take the uncertainty into consideration so you can more accurately predict the product's break-even point. You can use a Monte Carlo workbook to handle the uncertainty for you. First, you will define the distributions of the variables. Selling price will be somewhere between $11 and $13, but it could be anywhere in that range depending on how your competition prices their products. Since all of the values in the range are equally likely, you will add selling price to the uniform distribution model. Your manufacturing costs will fall in a triangular distribution. Your contract says they have to lie somewhere between $1,000 and $3,000 but based on historical values, you're expecting them to be around 2,400. The last variable with uncertainty in your model is the cost of goods sold, and it depends on the prices you negotiate with your suppliers. It should be around $5 per unit with a standard deviation of 80 cents. Every time this randomator sheet recalculates, a new pseudo-random value of each variable is calculated in the XI column following the distributions that you provided. Now that the Monte Carlo's randomator will calculate different combinations of your inputs, you can feed them into your break-even analysis. First, you will put all the variables in one place on the interface tab. Write the names of the randomized variables and bring in the XI values calculated on the randomator sheet. Next, you will go to your break-even analysis workbook and read in the randomized variables into your model. That way, your break-even workbook can use the randomized input values to determine the break-even units and sales. Now you want to send the results back into the Monte Carlo simulation. On the interface sheet, you will scroll down to the output section and set the break-even units and sales equal to the values calculated in your break-even workbook. At this point, your Monte Carlo workbook randomizes different input variables. It sends them through the interface tab into your break-even analysis. Your model calculates the break-even units and sales, and those are read back into the Monte Carlo interface as outputs. Now on the Analyticator sheet, you can choose how many times you would like to repeat the process, and then you will click Run Simulation. When the simulation finishes, you can see the projected values of the break-even units and dollar amount of sales. You can look into summary statistics, including the mean, median, standard deviation, and the range, and see a histogram of the results. By combining the Monte Carlo simulation with your break-even analysis, you've gotten deeper insight into the true break-even point of your product and you can make more informed decisions about the profitability of rolling it into market.